Japan has more hot spring resorts than anywhere in the world. For centuries, people have traveled to these remote onsen areas for the sake of their health or simply for pleasure. The hot spring that's recently become incredibly popular is Kurokawa Onsen. Over a million visitors a year now make the trip to this small spa in the mountains of Kumamoto. This little country town has carefully preserved its charmingly old-fashioned atmosphere. I live in the big city and it feels great to visit such an old-style place out here in nature. But Kurokawa almost didn't survive. Back in the 1960s, visitors had dwindled and the town's future looked very bleak. This is the man who rescued Kurokawa Onsen and made it what it is today, Tetsuya Goto. Goto visited many popular hot springs searching for the secret to their success. He decided that people visited spas looking for healing, relaxation, and that sense of freedom you only find deep in nature. This was what a real onsen must provide. He spent much time on his first project, digging this cave in the rock to create a unique bathing spot. At his side during this work was his apprentice, Kengo, who today carries on Goto's dream. It was the era of the resorts, attracting huge numbers of guests. They thought Goto was eccentric, insisting that we could revive Kurokawa by focusing on quality and on recreating that old onsen idea of being part of nature. Following his convictions, Goto planted trees around his hotel to create a more soothing environment. He would attract people from the city by providing what they lacked in their busy lives, the time and space to relax completely. When Goto's ideas proved successful, the rest of the town took notice. People followed his advice and changed it. For example, they remodeled the outdoor bus. That was the turning point when our fortunes started improving. Goto felt that the whole town should cooperate in working on Kurokawa's outdoor baths and planting greenery everywhere. He was always saying that this wasn't a job for the person. Everyone needed to work together if we were to do it right, to properly recreate the old country onsen atmosphere and the natural scenery around here. So the Ryokan owners of Kurokawa Onsen began following Goto planting trees, and ensuring that all the town's buildings had exteriors in the same traditional style. From signboards to bus shelters, everything was redesigned to match the old onsen atmosphere. Wanting visitors to feel the whole town was like a single ryoka, the hotels introduced a unique system. Whichever inn you stay at, you can use the baths of all the others. Goto's ideas worked spectacularly. Visitors now flock to Kurokawa from all over Japan and even from overseas. I think visitors from overseas come here and like it so much because it's a place where you get a real sense of the old countryside Japan. Kurokawa Onsen, a fading hot spring resort that rebuilt itself into one of the most famous in Japan. An onsen that even today finds inspiration in the ideas of Tetsuya 